All right, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G is alive, and yes, I am still doing cross-out videos. Don't worry, and I'm back today with a developer blog update. Looking from this graphic, it appears we are going to be getting some new toys, and they say these are coming in the second half of April. So what are we going to get? Spring Mayhem. Uh, we're going to get a brawl returning in modified form. We decided to change the theme of the battles. Mainly, it will affect the blueprints of vehicles, their appearance, and mounted weapons. So we're going to have medieval style. Maybe Knight Riders coming down the pipe. Sounds like a Knight Riders tease. Maybe, maybe not. Vehicles with crossbows, catapults, and melee weapons. All right, I dig that. That sounds fun. Uh, they plan to add the new map they've been talking about. The Fortress map is going to jump into that rotation. Uh, what else? Some different rules. It looks like we're going to be getting some leagues, so you'll see a competitive mode probably where you can earn some prizes as you go through that. Otherwise, it'll be the same mayhem that we've done in the past. Now, this is why you're here. New toys. So... They previously teased these, I guess. Well, it's looking like we're maybe going to get a pulse cannon. So something in the energy weapon category. Looks like it's going to be a purple epic weapon. Uh, firing mechanics similar to the scorpion. Guys, we are getting an epic version of the scorpion. That is a real game changer. So we'll have to wait and see. Now, this is just um, art for it. They don't actually have a model. So that means maybe a little bit longer till we get it. So the new cannon's projectiles will deal less damage and cannot penetrate enemy armor. But their flight speed is higher. It's faster than a scorp shot, but no penetration. At long range, you will still need preemptive aiming. Okay, you got to lead your target still at long range, but the projectile speed will be so high that it will require some getting used to. Okay, uh, it's going to have two firing modes. Pressing the fire key releases an instant shot that deals default damage. Charge shot 50% more damage, but at the same time will deal a small amount of damage to your own car. That's a cool perk. You can opt to increase your damage and you're going to hurt yourself. Um, kind of a cool firing mode. I like that the new weapons kind of have some Swiss army knife functionality built in. And it looks like we're getting a very cool new looking heavy cabin. Uh, I don't know if this is a Don's Children or a Step. Uh, it's a little tricky. I mean, yeah, we'll see what we're going to get. Uh, real scientists always find a way to turn any harm into an advantage. Okay, so this cabin, the Ermok, its parameters are quite standard for epic heavy cabins, slightly higher maximum speed and lower weight limit. Uh, but the perk is this. It will increase damage resistance whenever your car receives damage. So it stacks up to three times. So kind of, all right. Kind of like the Humpy, um, except damage resistance ramps up as you get shot. They're also going to rework the marker system for quick messages. Okay, you can say things like attack, defend, move, not only through the map, but also while driving. Okay. Uh, AI opponents are getting a rework and raids and balance changes for various parts. So that means nerfs and buffs coming down the pipe. All right, guys, uh, as always, like and subscribe to stay up to date on everything Cross Out and have Mr. G hit you when those blog updates come. Uh, and still talking to the devs, checking on how they're doing. They're still out there alive trying to make this work. Um, and I will catch you guys on the next